Well, hey there. It's Wednesday of the week. It's been a rainy week here in lower Alabama. Put that on top of the craziness of the gasoline pipeline thing, the colonial pipeline. Life's been a little bit crazy. And we're doing good. We, I was out this morning. I found a good walking stick, nice cedar, that I'm going to turn into a really nice walking stick. Doing a little cleaning up. Sawing some firewood with my homemade bow saw. And uh, got a surprise. Came in the mail today. Back in 2009, around 2008, I read Nimble Will Nomad's uh, 10 Million Steps. And in there, he talked about his Nimble Will Nomad stick stove. And you can look that up on the internet and you can copy a template and you can make one of those on your own. I'm going to put a couple of pictures of mine and, you know, doing its thing. But I've, I've seen, I've seen a lot of these little round can stoves and I've looked at how, you know, making a hobo stove and those sort of things. But I figured, what the heck? And I broke down and I ordered one. And it came in the mail today. Let's open this dude up and see what we got. Buck. Buck 110 folder. I've had this buck since. Nine. 1990, 1991, great knife. All right, there it is. It says, Canway Camping Stove. I've always watched these uh, unboxing videos. Some of them are pretty neat. Comes in a nice little stuff sack and there's the parts let's see if we can put this thing together real quick there's another part man this thing got all kinds of parts there's the bottom piece I'm assuming that this little tray goes under this, those of you that know more about these, let me know. That part fits up here. This fits down here. And there's the top. It sits on the top. It even comes with a nifty little grill plate. I don't know that I'd ever use that or not. It's kind of small for grilling a hamburger. It might work. Then again, it makes a nice, makes a nice little great to sit your coffee pot on or your coffee cup if you're just using a cup. How about that? Old dinosaurs moving up in the world. All things continue working in our favor and this pipeline issue doesn't become any more of an issue than it is. Shirley and I are planning to pull out Sometime Friday morning, drive up to Coleman Lake. It's about a four and a half or five hour drive for us. We're gonna go up and camp. My son, my son is gonna meet us there. I'm not sure if it's gonna be Friday 
evening after he gets off work or if it's going to be Saturday morning after he wakes up. But he's coming up and, and going to camp with us and we're looking forward to that. Sunday was his birthday. Sunday, May the 8th was his birthday. We gave him a hammock for his birthday and I, I think he's anxious to try it out. And uh, we're anxious to have him with us trying it out. I want to say thanks once again to everyone who has subscribed to David Chronic Outdoors and interacted with the videos, all of that good stuff. Be sure to like a video. Be sure to interact with the videos. Like, subscribe to the channel, click the like button, ring that little bell up there so you're notified when we upload videos that come to you in your email or ever how they, they send all that out. And we really do appreciate it. Your interacting with the channel has has really helped. It's helped a lot. And we're looking forward to bringing you more videos, hopefully quality videos, enjoyable videos. And with that said, We'll see you on the next one.